Well, after such a great introduction, I can't wait to hear the speaker myself. <laughs> well, first of all, you may say to yourself, what does the physicist have to say about the future of business, finance, the economy, and our way of life? Well, first of all, we physicists invented the laser. We invented the transistor. We helped to assemble the internet. We wrote the World Wide Web. In fact, the World Wide Web was created by a physicist to keep track of subatomic particles so that we can discover the Higgs boson. So you can thank the Higgs boson for the World Wide Web. And along the way, we also invented television. We invented radio, radar, microwaves. In a hospital, we invented the MRI machine, the X-ray machine. In outer space, we helped to create the space program the GPS satellite, weather, telecommunication satellite. In other words, we physicists invented the 20th century. And now, we are inventing the 21st century. We're not sitting idle. We are now creating the architecture for the next 10, 20, 50 years. And I've had the privilege of interviewing over 300 of the world's top scientists for the Discovery Channel, for the Science Channel, and BBC Television. In fact, my latest New York Times bestseller, Physics of the Future, is now a TV program, a six-hour TV program airing the end of November throughout all of December on the Discovery Science Channel. So you can actually see these fantastic inventions these incredible breakthroughs on television, on the Discovery Science Channel. The program is called Futurescape. Now let me also say a few things about the future. We physicists can calculate that 10, 15 years from now, a computer chip will cost about a penny. That's the cost of scrap tape. Bubblegum wrapper costs about a penny. And that's the cost of computers in the future, which means that computers will be everywhere and nowhere. Everywhere you look, there'll be computers hidden in the wall, the ceiling, even your glasses, even your contact lenses. In the future, when you blink, you will go online. Now, when you see people, your contact lenses will identify who they are and print out their biography next to their name. And if they speak German, Chinese, Swahili to you, your contact lens will translate into English or Spanish or whatever language as you talk to them. And of course, who are the first people to buy internet contact lenses? College students studying for final examinations. <laughs> they will simply blink to be all the answers. It is also mean this is going to change the way we interact with the environment. Cars will drive themselves by 2020. That's the target. By 2020, the car in your garage will drive itself. You will simply talk to your car, argue with your car, and off you go. And when you want to talk to a lawyer or a doctor in the future, you go to the wallpaper. Your wallpaper will be intelligent. We physicists can actually make intelligent wallpaper. And there'll be an animated figure in your wallpaper that looks like a doctor, looks like a lawyer, answers all common medical legal questions almost for free. These are called intelligent systems perfected by IBM, and this is going to revolutionize medical care, revolutionize the legal profession, because when you want to talk to a doctor or a lawyer, you simply talk to the wall. And then, <laughs> as your body wears out, we will grow new organs of the body. Today, not tomorrow, today, we can grow from your own cells. We can grow skin, cartilage, noses, ears, blood vessels, heart tissue. The first bladder was grown a few years ago. The first windpipe was grown just last year. And the next organ to be grown in the laboratory from your own cells is the liver. So for all you alcoholics out there drinking wine now, <laughs> drink up, hoping that we will perfect the first liver before your liver wears out.